Wow, good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you might be in time and space. Kenny is here with Noob Flights. Insert swear words here. Clear all the swear word keybinds and uh, start the swear word stuff all over again. Sorry, what I'm trying to say is, if you, like me, have been terribly frustrated with the bindings and the, the keyboard settings for Microsoft Flight Simulator. I can't recommend highly enough uh, clearing them all and starting over. It's very liberating. Let me get this stuff off the screen and show you what I'm talking about. Every time I go to set a key bind, they've already got it set to something that I don't like. Or they've got this new hip fantastic, which I will, I'm will i sure I will come to appreciate it soon. I'm sure. I've come to appreciate everything that I'm running into so far. But a lot of this stuff is really wonky and foreign to me, and it, it it's difficult to get stuff done. And every time you assign a keybind that you like, they're, they've assigned two other keybinds to the same keybind that you have to go hunt down and clear. So a lot of people are incredibly frustrated with the uh, how it's all working. So here I really recommend going to your profile and create a new profile. So I've created one here. And uh, so create yourself a new one. And then go into your preset manager. And clear all. Now you might be, now don't do this with your default settings. And you still might run into problems. You'll load in and then you can't get out. You forgot to set, you know, certain keys, like the escape key, to get back out again. So it doesn't come without its peril. But it's nothing you can't recover from. You might have to control alt delete yourself out of the game. But nothing more serious than that. But I really can't recommend clearing it. If you are new to flight simming, you don't need to start out using 99% of the camera, uh, of the controls. You don't need it. You don't need 99% of the darn keyboard controls. You just need to start inputting the basics and getting down to business and that's flying and learning to fly as you need something and you find yourself needing something. Wow, I'm learning about trim today. Let me assign my trim keys today. Hey, I'm learning about this thing called a pitot tube. You should be, you know, you should be learning by clicking stuff in the cockpit. But you might have spent the money on some fancy equipment and you need to actually, you know, set up those same kind of cockpits or, you know, you do, you just want to set up a, a key bind for it. But now you know what the pito tube is and now you can set it to a button that you're or key you're comfortable with. And then you don't have to go clear what they've set. Some people are just the opposite. They don't, they'll, they don't mind sitting there with a sheet of paper and wherever it's at with all the keyboard controls listed and learning them all and using the key mappings that they put in. But I think you'll be much happier in the long run putting them in as you need. So again, um, once you've done that and you've created your profile and you've cleared them all out, make sure you switch this thing to all now, now you can see all of the 
keyboard controls. They haven't put their stuff in. You get to start fresh. So, you know, I'm, I was working on drone right now. So I really love the drone camera. You can really, uh, you know, drop a drone somewhere, pause the game, go into drone mode, and explore. So, for example, I wanted to take amazing screenshots like some of the people that are out there doing amazing screenshots. And so you have to learn how to use the drone. You fly really close to something that you want to see. You pause the game. You go into drone mode and you go exploring. And you can do neat things like changing. Again, look at stuff here. But I want to set it the way I want. Auto exposure, depth of field, you know, have the thing rotate, move in and out. Yaw to left rolls. And I'm going to set all this. But the way I want. Okay. Uh, now that we're, uh, let me clear drone. Go through the list, find what you want. I really don't need much else. Uh, I'm just the drone controls. Everything I've already got set to my uh, joystick. And you should probably do that too if it doesn't freak you out. Clear everything. Clear all the binds and start over. Because it's just not worth it. It's just not worth the headache. If, if you're not into using their mappings and learning their mappings, it's not worth the headache. Blow it all, sir. Blow it all. All right. Anyway, enjoy the drone camera. Really, really. Set it up. Take the time to set it up and play with it. There's something in the game like your house or other things that you're going to want to see. So I really can't recommend highly enough setting that up right after you get your other stuff set up. Play with the drone camera. And then fly it around and check out neat things. I'll see you in the game. That's my rant for the day. Good night.